All right, today I'm at the Guandu Bird. Oh, I thought it was a bird sanctuary, but they say nature park. Guandu Nature Park. And it's very beautiful. And I hope I don't talk too much. And uh, it says Guandu Nature Park is located at the junction of Danshui River and Keelung River. This is a low lying area in the south southwestern section of Guandu Plain. The main landscape is composed of freshwater ponds, brackish water ponds, marshes, rice paddy fields, and forested areas. The rich, diverse ecology makes it an important habitat for wildlife and plants. So this is going to be a beautiful walk. Let me show some pictures down here. We got some bird watching going on over here. And then the different, you know, wetland areas and the number of different birds that come through here. And that's the Guandu Plain, the area that this nature park sits on. It's beautiful. Beautiful. So I hope that uh, you enjoy this walk. I don't know how far I'll go with you. I don't want to keep you all day we are here and uh, I do want to say uh, lately I haven't been doing two videos as I thought I would so and I haven't been having a meal <laughs> so uh, it's because of the weather, I think, more than anything. Man, look at these trees. They're old. It's because of the weather more than anything, I think. Touch, observe, and learn about coastal forest. Uh, that is really, really... This is going to be a beautiful walk. As my friend Daniel says, walk about. <laughs> I think you can buy like one of those head things and then like as you walk past the different areas, it gives you some information about the different trees and birds and foliage and life in the area, you know. Well planned out. They even had parking included. Then my car is parked over there. The girl, I gotta wash her today. She's a little bit, she's a little bit dirty. All areas, all this area features typical shrubs and trees in the coastal region of northern Taiwan, adapted to the harsh coastal environment. These plants can withstand strong winds, harsh sunlight, and salt water. Moreover, most of their seeds are able to float on water to help them spread. Here you can find looking glass trees, Formosan nato trees, hel heliotrope trees, sea mangoes, Indian almonds, Japanese cheesewoods, and sea hibiscus. Oh, and then they show them down here. So that's the Japanese cheesewood. The vibrant color fruits of sea mango. Oh. Looking glass tree. <laughs> Looking glass. Formosan nato tree. Oh. Heliotrope trees. Heliotrope. Wow. This is very, very nice. Oh, they have a warning over here. Hello, 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 sir, hello. They have a warning here. Poisonous plant. Sea mango is toxic, especially its kernel. Not touch or eat it. Wow, so the sea mango is poisonous. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so they show the foliage and 
they got this thing set up nice, you know. The nature center, coastal forest, restroom, Muslim prayer room. Muslim prayer room? What? Wow. I, I really didn't know there were many Muslims in Taiwan. Well, I... Well, I'm going to have to look that up. How many Muslims in Taiwan? I know there are a lot of... Uh, a lot of... Uh, man, that just blew my mind. <laughs> I know there are a lot of, uh, uh, what do you call them, Buddhist, Taoist, and um, uh, I can't think now, Buddhist, Tsao, and uh, this one more group I know exists here in, in mass number. I just don't understand this Buddhist, I mean, this uh, Muslim prayer room. The Christians are a very small number, less than 10%, less than 5%, I'd say. Oh, welcome to beautiful. Oh, far off. What does it say? The guardians of the waterfront. This is the wetlands. Wetlands are located in a transition zone between water and land and are a virtual, vital habitat for many species. Many coastal and estuary wetlands have been reclaimed and changes in land use is forcing wet water birds to relocate elsewhere and dramatic declines in North Shore fisheries have been documented. These changes in species compositions and abundances are warning signs that wetlands are deteriorating. Whoa. Functions of wetlands. Regulating water levels, water purification, wa provide nutrients, protection of the waterfront, provide habitat. Oh, wow. Home for the birds. And they just show the different birds they migrate through this area, how they maintain. Oh. They used to use these as garbage collecting spaces. Wow. So they had to use the wetlands to, they rejuvenated the wetlands to bring more species back to the area. That is just beautiful. And I stopped talking, you can hear all of the birds saying hello. All right, I go on, I push on. Now, what did I say? I said Zao's Buddhist. There's one more group that's in a big number here. I can't put my mind on it right now. Oh, Confucius. Yeah, a lot of people believe in Confucius, Confucianism, something like that. I think I'm saying it right. Let's see what else they have here. Before these mosquitoes get me. This is the nature center this way. We went and saw the coastal forest. So we're gonna go to the nature center. I don't wanna to stay too long. But 
This is a nice, you can see how peaceful. Oh, the birds are everywhere. Look at them, they're talking to each other. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, they're talking a lot. Following each other. That's what I want. I love feeling. They love each other. They following each other. Oh, that love feeling. Oh, you can hear them talking. Come over here, okay? You come over here, okay? Do this, okay? Do that, okay? <laughs> Romantic at heart, I am. All right, so here, some more beautiful marshlands, wet areas. This is a little bit more expansive than, uh, when I say expansive, uh, a little bigger, you know, than when I was at the um, Shilin residence. Oh, see, pond, pond. Is it your... Is it your old friend or new friend? In the past, villages in northern Taiwan used freshwater ponds as water sources for firefighting and rice paddy field irrigation. They also served as children's playgrounds and a place to pick them, pick items for a meal. However, as time changed, these ponds became high risk, high rises, and only then did people start to miss them. The ponds in front of you are freshwater ponds and lotus ponds. Take a closer look. Is it an old friend you haven't seen for a while? Or is it a new friend you haven't really gotten to know yet? Oh, that's very profound. Yeah, that's nice. Freshwater ponds. I just love the way that they... Uh, they label this. And we got the water buffalo down here. And uh, that one weekend, me and uh, Daniel, my friend and his girl, we went to, uh, to a college, university, and she played the, the banjo or ukulele, you know, the, the yeah, banjo, and I played the harmonica, and there were three water buffalo there. I don't know if I put that on here yet. I think I need to do that. Yeah, I thought they were going to attack us, but they liked it. It was soothing. So I had the wrong impression. I thought we were going to die. <laughs> Playing music for the water buffalo on this college campus here in Taipei. Yeah, I'll put that up. That'll be the second one for today. Okay, this brings us to the nature center. I'm almost at 15 minutes, so. And I think these this video and all of them are just trying to, to get you to take an interest. If you're in Taiwan, visit. You coming? It's a reason. Enjoy. There's the nature center. Can you see that? Sunlight is very poor. It's right, right, right behind me. So I mess up the shot a little. There you go. That's better. And I'm sure there's nothing but great examples of the nature that's included in this park. I'll probably go once I turn this off.
I'll go inside, walk around a little. But I wanted to show you more of this, the beauty that's here. Let's see if we can find another trail. Take a quick walk down together. Look at that. Muslim prayer room. Wow. I'm surprised. Low elevation forest, northern Taiwan. Outdoor theater. I want to see that. I want to see the outdoor theater. I think this is going to bring us to our end once I get to the theater. Because I'm going to sit there for a while. I don't have a harmonica to play. I left it in the car. So it's a creek, ecological area. A creek. Oh, here's a creek. Yeah, the ecology is all through the creek. Yes. Interpretation station, bird watching cabin. Uh, I want to see this interpretation area. I'm going to find a. They said they had a, like an auditorium area, like a, like an outdoor thing. Let's see what we find. Here, machinery. Like they're building something. Outdoor auditorium, maybe? Low level, low elevation forest of northern Taiwan. This area consists mainly of broad le leaf trees found below 300 meters above sea level. As Taiwan Asasia Asasia Bishopwood Subcoastate Crepe Myrtle Camphor Tree Flame Gold Rain Tree and fire thorn. These trees are often used for items that we use daily. Charcoal can be made from the wood of Taiwan acacia. Camphor can be extracted from the wood of camphor trees. And hard, hardy wood of subcoste crepe myrtle makes an excellent pillar for rooms. This is a diverse system where the flowers, leaves, and fruit serve as nourishment for wildlife and even a leaf litter on the forest floor serves as shelter or hiding places for insects. Beautiful. Oh, is that the elevation area they were talking about? There's machinery over there. Trucks. So something's going on. I don't know which way the wind will blow. All I know is the wind will blow. I don't know what day the wind will blow. All I know is the day will come when the wind will blow your way. And then it will say hello to you one day. All right. I'm 
out here in nature, having a nature feeling. <laughs> I feel so alive. I feel like nature is calling me. Call of the wild. Okay, there's some construction going on over there, but that's off the property. All right. Oh, it's like a, a is that the Muslim prayer area? I thought Muslim prayed on their knees. Oh, shoot, I gotta walk down there now. I gotta find out. I, I can't be this close and not find out. I'm walking around wondering, was that the Muslim prayer area? This looks like some kind of sitting area for something, maybe a presentation. The wetlands help us clean the water. All right, that's right on. This is the interpretation station and the Muslim prayer room. The Muslims come here to pray. Oh. Wow. All right. Well, I'm just surprised. All right, well, I think this is a good place as any. I love that picture. I love to have that picture on my wall. That is really a very good picture of the nature included in the wetlands, the, the birds in particular, that come through the wetland for their life, for their habitat. Okay, so where am I? Yeah, we went, we are, we're here now. So we passed the nature center and then it's only a walk back to the front. There's the parking over there. So we started over here. All right, everybody. Let me see if I can say goodbye. It's always tough to say goodbye. It's always tough to say goodbye. Can you see me? Can you see me? I say goodbye. Peace to everybody. Have a great day. And I'll put the uh, video of um, Kiwi and I serenading three ox, three water buffaloes on the uh, university campus.